Hello and welcome. You're listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Glad that you could join us for another segment. We're going to be speaking with John Whalen this morning. He's joining us here from Inhalan Biopharma. It's a startup immunotherapy company. And he's joining us to talk about um, a recent approval, a government uh, grant for some major research. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, John Whalen. Hi, great to be here. Thanks for having me. Give our listeners a bit of your professional background. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what it is that you love about what you do. Yeah, I've been working for a number of years leading biopharma organizations on the business side, most of it working on early stage clinical research and primarily focused on oncology and rare diseases. Before joining Inhalon, I hadn't really appreciated the impact the common respiratory infections can have on people. We all come down with colds and get the flu, but for some people, these infections can lead to hospitalization or, or even worse. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I joined Inhalon to advance a new technology we have for preventing and treating acute respiratory infections that can lead to these serious outcomes. So are we talking any type of respiratory infections? I mean, we're in the midst of a, a pandemic right now that is that affects the lungs greatly. Are we talking um, something that could even help in that area as well? Absolutely. So the technology that we have applies to, like I said, seasonal things like influenza and respiratory syncytial virus uh, that affect the very old, the the very young, and and those with immune compromised uh, situations. But also for these pandemic situations like COVID. So if it's a, if it's a virus that infects the lungs and causes the damage that we're seeing, uh, we have a means of both preventing that and treating it early on. How exactly does this uh, this technology work when it comes to uh, treating respiratory infections? Uh, so what our technology is, is, is really um, a new way of taking advantage of antibodies and, and their properties. So we are seeing antibodies being used therapeutically, but our breakthrough really came from understanding how antibodies can be used to trap pathogens like the virus or the COVID virus in airway mucus. And this is something we call mucotrapping. Mm -hmm. So what we do is deliver these antibodies into the lungs where they basically bind to the virus, trap it in the airway mucus, and then clear it quickly from uh, the lungs to bring down viral loads. Now, I understand that you recently got a major contract from the government in order to do research on this technology. Is that correct? Yes. So the uh, U.S. Army is very interested in finding new and and novel ways for treating COVID-19 and for future pandemics. Mm -hmm. So they put out a solicitation last year uh, to award $20 million to a few companies to show uh, proof of principle for new therapeutic approaches. Inhalon made a submission. It was scored outstanding by their uh, technical review committee, mm-hmm. and we received $5 million of the $20 million that was being awarded. After further discussions uh, with the Army and about our technology, they then increased the award to $7 million. So it's this uh, award from the U.S. Army that we're going to use to fund a phase one and two study using the mucotrapping technology to, to demonstrate proof of concept. As you said, this, it traps these microbes and then gets them away from the airways via mucus? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So what is going on is that um, our bodies clear the mucus in our airways every 30 to 60 minutes. So what we recognized is that was going on. We also recognized that there was a way to make these antibodies so that they would uh, uh, link with the mucus so that they would get eventually cleared from our airways. So what's going on is, is that we are taking these mucotrapping a- antibodies, inhaling them, they bind to the virus, then they trap the virus in the airway mucus, and then our airway mucus is cleared from our lungs every 30 to 60 minutes. And at that point, uh, it gets swallowed into our, our stomachs and destroyed by uh, acid in our stomachs. So it's really quite efficient at getting rid of the virus and reducing the viral load. At the same time, we have all the same properties that you expect from antibodies. So they neutralize the virus, they recruit the immune system. But what we've done is added a, a brand new 
mechanism that keeps the that keeps the infection in check during early stages. Do you have any idea about the type of candidates that are going to be solicited for this study? So it's a pretty standard, uh, like I mentioned, phase one, phase two study design. So in phase one, it's going to be healthy volunteers who come in and will be given both a single dose or multiple doses of the drug, basically inhaled over multiple days. And uh, those, those volunteers will help us demonstrate the safety of the approach. The phase two study will be focused on showing that we can bring down viral load. And so for this study, it will be a placebo controlled study where newly diagnosed COVID-19 patients will come in and uh, be treated uh, with, with our approach of inhaling antibodies. Is there going to be a, a specific type of test to determine whether that viral load has been reduced? Yes, it's the same sort of uh, test that we're seeing today. So it's a, it's a nasal swab where we'll be measuring viral load at the beginning of the study and then tracking it uh, against the placebo group uh, through a seven-day period and then some follow-up period. The Army is very interested. I mean, obviously, this technology could be used in other areas um, when it comes to trapping microbes or particles in mucus, don't you think? We were starting to work on this technology before COVID came along. Mm -hmm. So at that time, we were focused on, the, like I mentioned, the more common acute respiratory infections like respiratory syncytial virus or RSV and influenza. But we saw that this approach could probably be used to address early stage uh, ambulatory COVID-19 patients. And that's what led us to down this path. And what we're thinking is, is with this study, if we can show that our inhaled mucotrapping antibodies works, then we'll have a technology uh, that can treat both seasonal infections, but also give us a jump on the next pandemic. And the reason I say that is if we look at how things developed last year, antibody treatments came along first uh, for the COVID infections. But the real challenge has been that these antibody treatments are delivered via IV or systemically. And when they're delivered systemically, they haven't really been successful against you know, broader acute respiratory uh, infections. And this is understandable because less than 1% of the antibody that goes in by IV is actually getting into the lungs. And it's in the lungs where the rest, where the infection is taking place. That's where the battle begins. And so these IV-delivered drugs, very little of it is getting there to be effective. And in our case, because we're inhaling the antibodies, 100% of what we deliver gets directly into the lungs. And so, you know, we see this as a more efficient and effective way. I mean, we can stretch the supply of limited antibodies uh, much further than you can by the IV just because we're, we're so much more efficient than the IV routes are. And the other things I've mentioned, you know, it's, a, it's very important to understand that what we have here is something that can be self-administered by the patient in their home. So they're really just inhaling these antibodies using a nebulizer for three to five minutes, let's say once a day for three to five days. And so they're not impacting our hospitals. They don't have to go in. They don't use up medical facilities to do that. So, you know, we think it's important that we've got a self-administered treatment here. It's more efficient use of the antibodies. It's mixed of action really brings about results much faster than uh, other approaches that are being used. Give our listeners a website where we can learn more, if you would. Sure. Uh, people can learn more about uh, our technology and on the government grant at our website. It's www.inhalon.com. Well, John, I appreciate you joining us here on the program this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with John Whalen, President, CEO, and Director of Inhalon Biopharma. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.